Hello everyone, Aventor here. Today I'm gonna talk a bit about one of my favorite ships in the game, HMS Dido, or as I sometimes like to call her, Better Atlanta. She was built as a nameship of her class for the Royal Navy as an anti-air protection cruiser and was commissioned in 1940. Ships in class varied in the amount of main armaments and retrofits, so I'm gonna focus solely on uh, Dido's history here. Her history begins like a lot of the Royal Navy, with operating from Scapa Flow. After that, her first true mission was to escort HMS Furious to West Africa. She didn't have very memorable service actions, mostly consisting of convoy escort duty and transporting troops in the Mediterranean. In April 1943, she had her refit and then went back to support landings on North Sicily during Operation Husky. August 1944, she was supporting landings in France, with that being her last action in the Mediterranean before traveling to the Arctic region, supporting convoys from and to Soviet Union and escorting mine layers. The most memorable thing about Dido is that she was the one that fired last naval shot in Europe during the war whilst traveling to Copenhagen to escort German cruisers Prince Eugen and Nuremberg to Wilhelmshaven on the way for the surrender of the German Kriegsmarine, which was signed aboard her. After the war, she was the flagship of the reserve fleet during fleet review to celebrate the coronation of Queen Elizabeth II. Later, she was subsequently decommissioned and sold for scrap to Tost W. Ward and scrapped at Barrow in Furness in 1957. In game, she is equipped with 10 5.25 inch QF Mark I cannons in 5 dual mounted turrets. To support her anti air and anti small vessel capability, she has 8 40mm 2 pounder QF Mark VIII in 2 quadruple mounted turrets and 5 20mm Elecon Mark II auto cannons. To complement her armament, she's also fitted with six 533mm Mark IX torpedoes in two triple launchers with vault and reload, though those torpedoes are only capable at short distances and should not be used extensively. Dido's main selling point are those 5.25 inch guns. Although you're not getting the reload of American 5 inches, you have superior explosive mass, penetration and post-penetration damage. Dido comes with standard ammunition types consisting of HE, HEVT and SAP. Use HE only until you get either HEVT or SAP. Then use a mix of SAP plus HEVT bringing more SAP to the battle around 1200 rounds and filling the rest with HEVT to damage light armor targets, planes and some of the components of heavily armored targets such as Helena's secondary turrets. SAP is one of the best for such small caliber guns with 171mm of penetration and 1.5kg of explosives. This should give you the ability to confidently damage and kill almost everything you'll be facing. When it comes to survivability, Dido is quite wonky. She has your typical two-part bridge with one being open top that's really easy to damage but at the same time her hull and turrets are pretty tough enabling you to survive through a lot of tough duels with good repair management skills. Her 530 crew members make it an average amount for light cruisers. The crew is located in well protected parts of Dido so you don't have to worry about losing a lot of them after being hit with HE shells. Your main tactic when it comes to surviving still should be hiding and dodging incoming bullets. Dido's not a brawler and as her guns are working the best at medium range, island picking and shooting at unaware ships will work the best for you. Her mobility is pretty average so there's not a lot to say about it. You can turn okay-ish and you're not the slowest nor the fastest cruiser at 5.3. And for the biggest question, that is how should you play Dido? The best way that I found that has worked pretty nicely is being sneaky and making surprise attacks to detonate destroyers or crippled cruisers with your fast reload and strong shells. You should avoid open maps and open spaces and your priority should be to find some cover as you can't take a lot of shots and still be fine even with your quite good armor layout. You should take advantage of uh, the 360 degrees of rotation and maneuver yourself left and right to avoid incoming fire. Quite often you'll face aptures nowadays, don't worry about them, just watch out for US cruisers at 6.0 like Helena or Brooklyn. You should aim to get into mid-range to close quarters with cruisers, as with that you can comfortably disable their guns and then more or less easily kill them. With destroyers, you can shoot at them freely from any distance. There's no point of getting close. All in all, Dido is a very good addition to your 5.3 UK lineup 
allowing you to confidently damage everything even with full up tiers and giving you a lot of fun while playing with her. She will provide you with one of the better light cruiser experiences and she should be one of your main grind vehicles for rank 3 and 4. If you like this sort of content, consider leaving a like and clicking the subscribe button. I hope you have a beautiful day, night, evening or an afternoon wherever you are. See you next video, Aventure out.